wondering how much storage you can actually get with install to play on GFN and what happens if you need more. Let's break it down. By default, if you're on performance or ultimate tier, you get 100 gig of storage included. That's enough for quite a few games because most of the install to play titles I have seen are in the 1 to 10 gig sort of range. A handful of bigger ones go up to about 30 gig, but even then you can comfortably juggle a decent library without worrying too much about space. But if you want more room, Infidia makes it pretty simple. In the GFN app, just go to the hamburger menu, go into settings, then account, and then you'll see an option to add storage. From there, it will open your browser to update the details. And that is where I'm ending this demo for obvious reasons. The actual options are straight forward. You can pick 200 gig for $3 a month, 500 gig for five, or a full terabyte for eight. Once you pick one, it's instantly tied to your account. Now here's the thing, most of the really big AAA games, the ones that are over 100 gig are more likely to be in the ready to play section anyway. That means you don't need to touch your personal storage at all. Install to play is really about giving you the flexibility of smaller games, experimental games, retro games, or indies. So yeah, you can start with 100 gig included. Upgrades are cheap if you need them and installs are quick enough that swapping games in and out isn't really a hassle. Honestly, storage in GFN isn't a big problem unless you want to keep absolutely everything installed at once.